F-35 fighter jets across the country have been temporarily grounded. The announcement was made by the military as it plans to base some of those jets in South Burlington next year. NBC5's Renee Wunderlich is live at the airport to explain why the military is keeping them out of the air, at least for now. Renee. Well, Brian, I spoke with supporters for the F-35s as well as those against the jets coming here to this base later on. Now, they told me the supporters say accidents can happen and thankfully no one was hurt in this crash a few weeks ago to support. They support the Pentagon rather grounding all F-35s saying it's just not a concern. They just want to make sure the aircraft is safe. Now, the retired aircraft colonel who I spoke with earlier today has spent the last six years openly opposing the F-35s. 35s coming here to South Burlington. She said the Pentagon made the right call and that this crash is a warning. It has a horrible record. Now, it has a horrible record related to technological problems, mechanical problems, software problems, all of which could cause a mishap. That's the way the military um, talks about uh, crashes. Um, but it's still uh, a very immature aircraft. I think it's unrealistic to think that a jet is never going to have any problems. Um, but at this point in its um, testing, it is so much farther advanced and so much safer than the F-16 was. The F-16 was, you know, in service for 30 and 40 years in some cases. Um, and the fact that this is the first incident that's happened with the F-35, um, you know, just speaks to the advancement in technology and how careful that the Department of Defense is being in its, its um, creation of this jet. Now, the F-35s are scheduled to be stationed here of September of next year. It's unclear at this point if the Pentagon's decision will impact that schedule at all. We're live in South Burlington tonight. Renee Wunderlich, NBC5 News.